Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus x, this is equal to x. So what are the values of x, given that x is not equal to 0? So let's provide a solution from here. Now, we have the square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus x, this is equal to x. So the first step from here is to let 12 be equal to u. So let's substitute u so that we have the square root of, this is the same thing as u plus square root of u plus x, this is equal to x. So the first step is to eliminate the square root sign, so let's square both signs, so that now we eliminate the first square root sign, so here we have u plus square root of u plus x, this is equal to x squared. The next step is, let's take u on the right hand side, so that we have square root of, this is u plus x, this is equal to x squared minus u. Now, the next step from here, again, let's square both sides. So that now, here we eliminate the square root sign. So we have u plus x. This is equal to, now this is x squared raised to the power of 2. Then we have minus 2, here we have x to the power of 2 multiplied by u, then plus u to the power of 2. Now, the next step from here, let's take u plus x on the right hand side, so that now here we have u to the power of 2, then minus 2 x to the power of 2 u. Then here we have minus u, then we have plus, now here we have x to the power of 4, because here we have 2 times 2, so it's x to the power of 4, minus x, this is equal to 0. So from this part here, we form, a, this is a quadratic equation. So that we have u to the power of 2 minus, now since u is common here, then this is the same thing as 2x to the power of 2, subtract 1, okay, then u, then plus x to the power of 4 minus x, this is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form au squared plus bu plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to, this is negative. Now we can express this as 2x squared plus 1. Then we have c equal to x to the power 4 minus x. Now substituting the values of a, b, and c from here. This implies that we have minus, into the parentheses, this is minus 2x squared plus 1, then plus or minus the square root of, this is the same thing as minus 2x squared plus 1, raised to the power of 2, then minus 4, times a which is 1, then times c, c is x to the power of 4, minus x. Everything here divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus times minus. This is positive 2x squared plus 1 plus or minus. We have the square root of. Now here we have minus squared here becomes positive, And this implies that we have this is 4x to the power of 4 then plus. Here we have 
x to the power of 2, then plus 1. Then here we have minus 4 times x to the power of 4. So this becomes minus 4x to the power of 4. Then minus 4 times minus x. This becomes plus 4x. Then everything here divided by 2. And this implies that here we have 2x squared plus 1 plus or minus. Now here we have the square root of 4x to the power of 4 minus 4x to the power of 4. This simplifies. And this implies that here we have 4x to the power of 2 plus 4x plus 1. Then here divided by 2. And then from here, we can express this as, that is 4x squared plus 4x plus 1. This is the same thing as, now this is 2x to the power of 2, then plus 2 times 2x, then plus 1 squared. Now this is in the form of a squared plus b squared plus 2ab, which can be expressed as a plus b raised to the power of 2. So applying this identity, then we can express this as, now we have 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 2. So let's substitute this back to the square root here. So that now, here we have 2x squared plus 1 plus or minus the square root of 2x plus 1 raised to the power of 2, then divided by 2. And this implies that here we eliminate the square root sign, so that we have 2x squared plus 1 plus or minus, now here we have 2x plus 1 over 2. So this implies that we can solve for the u1, which is equal to 2x squared plus 1, then plus 2x plus 1, divided by 2. And u2, in this case, will be equal to 2x squared plus 1, then subtract. Here we have 2x plus 1, everything here, divided by 2. Now from here we have u1 is equal to 2x squared, then plus 2x, then plus, we have 1 plus 1, this is 2, divided by 2. So in the numerator here, 2 is common, so we can factor out 2, so that we have x squared plus x, then plus 1, divided by 2. And this implies that u1 is equal to x squared plus x plus 1. This is what is u1. And then we have u2 is equal to, now we have 2x squared plus 1. Then here we have minus times 2x. So this becomes minus 2x. Then minus times plus x, this becomes minus 1. Then everything here divided by 2. And this implies that u2 is equal to 2x squared. We have minus 2x. Now, plus 1 minus 1, this simplifies. Then divided by 2. And here we have that 2 is common here. We can factor out 2 so that we have x squared minus x. Then divided by 2. Let's simplify here. 2 and 2 simplifies so that we have u2 is equal to x squared minus x. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that let u be equal to 12. So let's substitute u so that from u1, remember u1, we have 12 is equal to x squared plus x then plus 1. 
this is equation one. Then we have again u2, we have x squared minus x. This is equal to 12. This is equation two. Now, from the first part here, we have x squared plus x plus 1. This is equal to 12. Let's take 12 on the left hand side so that we have x squared plus x plus 1 minus 12. This is equal to 0. So that now we have x squared plus x. This is minus 11. This is equal to, to 0. So we have a quadratic equation here with a equal to 1, b equal to 1, and c equal to minus 11. Now, let's solve for x1 and x2. Now here we have x1 plus x minus 11. This is a quadratic equation with a equal to 1, b equal to 1, and that c is equal to minus 11. So we can solve for x1 and x2 by applying the quadratic formula, that's minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 ac. Everything here divided by 2 times a. Now let's substitute the values of a, b, and c so that we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of. This is 1 squared, then subtract 4 times a, which is 1, then times c, which is minus 11, divided by 2 times 1. So here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus 4 times minus 11 this is plus 44 divided by 2 so that now here we have minus 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 44 this is 45 divided by 2 we can express the square root of 45 this is the same thing as square root of 9 times 5. And this is the same thing as square root of 9 times square root of 5. And this is equal to 3 square root of 5. So this means that here we have minus 1 plus or minus 3 square root of 5 divided by 2. So here we have two values of that is x1 and x2. Now, again, if you recall, we have the second equation here, which is x squared minus x. This is equal to u2, and remember u is equal to 12. So this is x squared minus x minus, let's take 12 on the left hand side, so minus 12. This is equal to 0. So again, this is a quadratic equation that we can solve by applying factorization method so that we have x squared minus now here we have the product equal to minus 12 and the sum equal to minus 1 so we can identify two factors that you can that you can multiply to get minus 12 and that we can add to get minus 1 so we have minus 4 and 3 so that now we have x squared minus 4x, then plus 3x minus 12, this is equal to 0. So from here, we can factor out x here, so that a is x minus 4, then plus here we have 3 is common, so we can factor out 3. So this is x minus 4, this is equal to 0. So x minus 4 is common, we can factor out x minus 4, then x plus 3, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here, we have x plus 3, this is equal to 0, and x minus 4, this is equal to 0. So we have x3, this is equal to minus 3, and we have x4, this is equal to 4. So the next step is to verify. Let's verify. Now let's verify here. You can use x3 and x4 here. So if you recall, we have that the square root of 12, then plus square root of, this is 12 plus x, 
this should give us a value of x. Let's start with x3, which is minus 3, so that we have square root of, this is 12, plus square root of, now here we have 12, plus, now here we have minus 3, this should give us a value of minus 3. Let's check this. So we have the square root of, this is 12, plus square root of, this is 12, plus times minus 3, this becomes minus 3. This should give us a value of minus 3. So we have the square root of, this is 12, plus square root of, now this is 12 minus 3, this is 9. This should give us a value of minus 3. So here we have square root of 12 plus square root of 9, this is 3. This should give us a value of minus 3. So this is square root of 12 plus 3, this is 15. And this is actually not equal to negative 3. So this implies that x3 here, this does not satisfy the equation. So let's check x4 here. We have x4 is equal to 4. So we have the square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus x. This should give us a value of x. Let's substitute 4 so that we have square root of. This is 12 plus square root of 12 plus 4. This should give us a value of 4. So here we have square root of 12 plus square root of 12 plus 4. This is 16. This should give us a value of 4. So this is the same thing as square root of 12 plus square root of 16. This is 4. This should give us a value of 4. So here we have again square root of 12 plus 4. This is 16. This should give us a value of 4. Square root of 16, this is 4, and this is equal to 4. This implies that, now this implies that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, x4 satisfies the equation. So can we follow the steps like this video? And more importantly, subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.